Hey everyone, this is Kevin from the chesswebsite.com. Today we're going to be going over the England Gambit trap. If you're not familiar with the England Gambit, it starts out with pawn to d4, pawn to e5 from black. Not something I would like to play as black, but I do think it's important, especially if you play d4 a lot, to know what to do if your opponent plays something off the wall like pawn to e5. If you're going to try something like black, I'd recommend the Budapest defense. You have knight to f6 then if you see pawn c4 which is pretty common push forward to e5 i feel like you have a better game but this is the england gambit there'll be another video on uh, the england gambit if you just want to try this out as black or if you want to see other variations as a whole but there's a specific uh, variation in the trap that you may see quite a bit of I want to make sure everyone is familiar with this so after the pawn takes here on e5 knight to c6 attacking this pawn knight to f3 just a simple development move from white here defending this pawn same move that i would be playing as white i think it's the correct move queen to e7 this is putting two attackers on this pawn in the center of the board bishop to f4 getting more material involved also another defender on this pawn on e5 and then queen to b4 this attacks the bishop it's no longer attacking the pawn, so I don't have to worry about the bishop defending that. But it is check, so white has to worry about that. Bishop coming back here to d2. Now queen takes on b2, and this is really the critical point in the trap that everyone needs to be aware of. Up until this point, white's played correctly. But the problem is many times white can get in this position and think that the move bishop to c3 is really the best play because if you kind of look at it, okay, the queen is attacking the rook here on a1. Okay, well, the best way to defend that is to play bishop to c3 maybe because it's now defended by the knight here on b1. The problem is bishop to b4 ruins all of those plans. Now, there's a lot of different ways that white could continue here. The worst one would be something like queen to d2. Then you could see uh, bishop take here on c3. White thinking that he can take here on c3 because his knight's defending it, but then queen to c1, and that's going to be checkmate. Now, white doesn't have to continue exactly like that. Uh, even in this position, if we see the bishop take, we could see the knight take here on c3, but then the queen takes on a1. The knight's forced to come back here to d1 almost. Don't want to come back to b1 and just give up more material, but now knight takes on e5, attacking this knight right here. If the knight takes, sure, the queen's going to come back here. Black is just up a rook as well as a pawn. This is going to be a pretty easy game for black. If white tries something else uh, from here, maybe pawn to e3. Okay, knight takes on f3. Pawn takes, uh, and then black can continue if he wants to take material right here. It doesn't really matter if he tries something else. Pawn to g3, trying to Fianchetto castle on the king side. It's still going to be the exchange here on f3. Pawn takes, and now queen to a2. None of those options are good at all for white. Even if we come back a few moves instead of the queen coming here to d2, maybe white just decides immediately to take this bishop here on b4. Okay, well now the knight can take here on b4, uh, still attacking this rook here on a1. So how does white really continue here? The worst way would be the knight to c3, because then the queen takes here, this is check. How do you really continue? Knight here, that's tricky because knight to c2, check also forking the rook over there on a1 but if he doesn't if you play queen to d2 okay well now queen takes on a1 check that's just giving up material right here so the knight can't really come here he doesn't want to come outside because he doesn't want his just rook to fall here but if he just comes to a3 the queen is going to capture it right here so that's not going to be a very good option either Really the move that white needs to be thinking about in this position is knight to c3. Yes, it's not immediately attacking the queen, but white is in a good position here and can attack this very soon with rook to b1. There's not a lot of great squares that black can even go to. He may even want to continue to push with his bishop here to b4. From here, white can just play rook to b1, attacking the queen. Where does the queen go? Really has to go to a3. And then knight to d5, attacking the bishop. 
few options that black has. Maybe he just wants to take with his bishop on d2. We have an exchange right here. But now black has to deal with this knight coming to c7. So maybe king to d8 to stop this. Then queen to uh, g5, putting a lot of pressure. One, it's check, but two, it's also attacking the pawn here on g7, can start to gobble up some material right here. So all in all, white has a very strong attack. Maybe instead we see uh, black choose a different option. Instead of taking the bishop right here, could come back to uh, a5. From here, rook to b5, uh, attacking the bishop. Uh, now the bishop could still come to d2 as we talked about, and we have a similar situation as before. If he tries to do something tricky, he may think that he could just come back here to b6 and it's safe, but it's really not because the rook can just take here. That's fine because it doesn't matter how black now takes, maybe the pawn takes here, knight down to c7 check and that is fork the rook is going to fall here on a8 same thing if the pawn takes here is going to gobble up a pawn and he's going to eventually gobble up this rook here on a8 white's going to be completely fine here and then he can continue to develop castle on the king side if he wants to white should be fine here so really the key here white played all the right moves but really when it comes here gonna need to play the knight to c3 so in your own games if you start out with d4 and your opponent plays the England gambit pawn to e5. Don't panic. Play the normal moves you would expect. But if they do come down, take on b2. Don't be alarmed. Play knight to c3. Hopefully you guys enjoy the England gambit trap. Uh, let me know if you would like to see a dedicated video on uh, the gambit. Or if you just want to see other trap videos. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.